Hey, what's up, guys? So this is going to be opening 028, the 28th opening that I like to share with you is Nakano Variation Opening. Again, this is not an official opening uh, that is named after uh, Nakano, uh, but instead this is something that I've decided to name after him because I've seen him play and specialize this sequence quite a bit. Of course, he's not the only one who actually plays it. Uh, I think many other Japanese players also play this particular opening. And um, basically it functions as quite a good uh, side variation for black against the no kong uh, white opening. So let's take a look at the sequence. You start off with f5, b6, and basically the usual sequence to the no kong opening. So over here, Stephenson, and then you go to g5, no kong, and then of course black jumps into e6 to centralize, and white goes to d7, which is the book move. And usually you would expect black to go to e3, being the best sequence, but over here instead, black goes to c7 that provides a very good uh, variation. So even though it's only uh, just a minus two, you do give up that uh, early disadvantage to your opponent, but in exchange, you probably um, have a lot of uh, line control uh, for the mid game for black. And of course you give white limited options. And I think the advantage is also with no Kong, there is a lower variance in end game. So you would probably expect tighter end games, probably more opportunity to exchange uh, tempo and definitely the flip side is that it's usually a very difficult mid game to actually control that line but um, yeah if you're able to actually learn that many sequences you'll be able to uh, do a very comprehensive control on this opening and with this variation it's also quite intuitive probably in the opening so you would probably expect uh, white to either jump in to centralize to c6, which you would just simply cover back to c5 by just regrouping back into the center, or if white just goes to g6 to group over that side, you would just simply regroup and just make a compact shape across in your group shape. And of course, if white does the same thing, you then regroup. So I think the first few moves that follow are very intuitive uh, for black. So that's probably one of the advantages of this opening, uh, apart from it giving a little bit of a variation in the early opening stage. So, yep, I'll leave it up to you as usual to see whether that opening suits you and hopefully that gives you some insights for uh, certain variations. And I'll see you in the next video.